How you guys doing here today? I got this 2020 Ford Explorer. It's got a 2.7. I'm gonna be showing you what it takes to get the transmission out. I'm not gonna show you the installation on this one, but if you watch till the end, you'll see me cuss some engineers because this one has a stupid ass bolt in it that makes me not very happy. So I'll show you how I got through it. Um, I don't show you the installation in this video, but I show you the removal. So I give you all the tips I can. So hopefully this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Let's get straight to it. Hey guys, Dylan here. I'm working on this 2020 Ford Explorer. There's a 2.3 in it. Tranny's in the rear on this one instead of in the front. And you access the torque converter bolts through these hole here. It's a 15 millimeter. This is where the starter is. I left the starter wires on. I just positioned it out of the way there. But 15 millimeter and then a 22. I got a 22 up here in the front to turn the crank through the crank bolt and always try to turn it clockwise. This is what I'm using to take the bolts out. The nuts off. Here's what the torque converter nuts look like. I think there's six. Ford engineers have put this bolt coming in the wrong direction and they've made it so you have to twist that bolt out as you're pulling the transmission. It's on the right side. Other than that, it wouldn't be bad, but. I removed the rear mount. It wouldn't slide back. Took the drive shaft bolts out, the starter, loose. There were six torque converter bolts, nuts. We'll move that. It's from the rear mount. These are bell bolts. Now it's pretty much time to pull the rest of the bell bolts and take the tranny out. stupid bolt is I was able to reach my hand up like this and turn it as I was wiggling the transmission but it stays in there because it, it runs into that mount so it's coming out now it's such a stupid design There's that stupid bolt. I was able to reach my hand up like that with this exhaust bracket out of the way. There's a dowel, there's a dowel. You can see there's six torque converter studs. Yeah, the starter's positioned up out of the way. I left the wires on it. Let the cooler hang. This is how I remove the shifter assembly. Two torques, 
and uh, pop this off. There it is, guys. I got it out. I didn't break any records. It took me about two and a half hours. All right, we got done with that Explorer removal. I'm going to stick a couple videos up over there. If you check them out, I'd appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to support my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's keep them moving. On to the next one.